Alright, hey there, this is uh, my sixth tutorial. This one is going to be on an auto balancing hover plate, a really cool object in Gary's mod when you, if you can make it. And soon we all shall be able to. Um, basically, you need an object four sided, kind of flat, makes it much easier. It's almost impossible otherwise because it all has to be on a perfect plane. Well, no, not really because the way we're doing this. So I'm just going to go ahead and use um, physics prop because it's a nice flat square thing. And now uh, what we need is a gyroscope because this whole thing is based off uh, angles, uh, how the thing tilts left to right uh, like this. Like, yeah. So And then we need a negative to 180 so check this box otherwise it will become very difficult. Um, feel free to freeze this. Make sure it's a, it doesn't. Have, the middle number does not have to be a zero. That's just um, that's the yaw. See, I just turn it like this. We don't really care about that. You can do it uh, if you want it. If you can care about it, if you just don't want it to twist at all. Um, so really, we're only caring about this way and this way. That, so that that way the prop knows to straighten itself out. So to adjust for the props twisting and turning we need thrusters approximately around 10 15 go ahead and just use 10 I guess yeah and go ahead and place them on the four middle edges of the square whatever you're using I, I always place them one in because that way they don't stick out like that so I just place them all one in smart staff really does help so press E to lock onto that um, one aim it like a point press E and it'll lock on turn green and it'll be exactly on that spot so that's good now pretty much all the rest is just uh, adding chips it's pretty easy so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking the change in um, we're pretty much using delta chips so that way it'll smooth it out like it did the delta uh, like it did the turret because if we didn't have the delta chips on that turret if you watch the tutorial it would be going crazy and wobbling all over the place so this we're going to use the delta chi chi chip to smooth it out and make it balance better and we're just pretty much going to add the angle the change in the angle to um, allow it to adjust properly and stop when it's at zero zero so uh... the hardest part about this tutorial is finding which thruster goes where so you just uh... Go ahead and get the debugger tool out and click it. That way you know which one's pitch and which one's roll. So that's negative pitch. That's positive, or that's the positive roll. And then this would be positive pitch. All right. So this is forward. This is right. Um, that's how this one is set up. All right. So what we need is some gate chips. Let this load up a bit. I like using this one instead of the one up here because they're all just in one spot. So uh, you need arithmetic, we need delta, we need a delta for the roll, I don't know why it does that, I'm just trying to make it so it's square relatively. Alright, so we need a delta for the, uh, I think this is roll, pitch or roll, and you want to make it, the best way I can think of it is like, alright. Uh, let's unfreeze it. So we have that now pitch is positive so we want to add positive to this one to adjust. So this is positive pitch and this one and then we're gonna make this one negative to pull down while this one pushes up to uh, adjust and same thing with the roll. So now so let's free. I'm just putting it down here so it lines up perfectly. Now that we have the delta chip, we also need an add chip for both of them. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take delta of roll. I believe this one was roll. I You can put like a P here and an R here to know which one was which. So then this one goes to pitch. And you pretty much add the delta to... And what the delta, what the add chip is going to do is we're going to add B. Oh, hold on. Uh, we're gonna add B uh, to um, oh shit what was it it's pitch right pitch and this was roll alright yeah I think that's right because the yellow one I remember the yellow one on top 
that one is uh, pitch, and this silver one, the second one down, that's roll, and this middle inside one is yaw. That's how you remember it. Uh, so yeah. And then pretty much at, what, what we're, why we're adding uh, the delta of the thing to the actual um, uh, change in uh, degrees is that way when it reaches zero it stops and the delta will just smooth it out and the add chip will actually make it want to reach zero so it won't w delta will make it not wobble and the add chip makes it try and reach zero zero which is what it's doing so that now we have our two thrusts and now uh, because these are going in the opposite direction you can do one of two things you can either make these thrusts negative ten or negative whatever you have at the thrust or you can uh, use a negate chip up here i find it easier just to use a negate chip uh... actually not really I find it's actually easier to use um, just negative thrust but you want to do it uh, this way when you're uh, using expression chips that way you just four th thrusters all the same and you wire it all up like, easy so negate's going to go to the add because the add is our final output and, oh wait shit I put it the wrong one make sure you go across you don't go diagonally so yeah and then you just should w wire it up accordingly and remember the hardest part about this tutorial is knowing which one's pitch and which one's roll that's literally the hardest part about this tutorial because we are almost done actually we're halfway done I just created there we go auto balancing see that look at that just kinda straightens itself out we're gonna increase it to like the thrust to like 20 and see what happens just because just because Alright, not going crazy. There, look at that. Immediate now. I just increased it. Don't go too high or else it'll start, it'll start going crazy, like insanely crazy. But yeah, so now we're going to make a, add a bottom thruster. And this bottom thruster is going, uh, just go and leave it at 20, I guess. And this one is going to push it up so that way it just doesn't fall. I mean, there are uses for just a plate that falls perfectly flat. But um, yeah, one with the thruster that floats is much better. And now what we're gonna need is we need a thrust that brings it to. Um, so what we need is GPS, so it knows where it is on the Z uh, coordinate. And uh, once we have the GPS, oh, hold on. What the hell? Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway, once we have the GPS, uh, this is for Z coordinate. That way, it knows how how high it is. And then we also need um, a target height. Uh, you can use constant values. Say if you just want to uh, be at like head level, you can just use a constant value of like let's just use two constant values. You can just use 60 and like maybe if you wanted to go like I don't know, let's use 50. It sort of like shoots the body so it's more accurate and then maybe something you want something way up in the air you can go like a thousand and then this would be our two uh, values actually you can just put this up over here and so how how we know what thrust it's gonna have we want um, to minus the target thrust by the GPS thrust that way it knows uh, the amount of thrust necessary to reach um, the target thrust because that's what subtra the subtract tip is an underestimated uh, tool because what you can do with this subtract chip is you can take the nessus the target thrust and you can find the difference between its uh, current position and that gives you the necessary uh, position that adjusts depending on how high it is like now it'll tell it to go down and when you drop it it'll tell it to go up so you can see how that is it adjusts depending on how close it is and now because it's uh, it'll it's not very good we need uh, to add a delta chip to smooth it out because the delta chip's just amazing like that. I'm going a little fast here because I'm reaching my deadline. So we're going to get another delta and another add so we can add the delta to the final product. So we're going to get change. So this is going to pretty much get the object speed. And then we're going to add uh, shit, um, object speed. And then, oh yeah, then we're going to add the delta and the subtract chip so it knows how far it needs to go and then it adjusts and then it smooths it out with the delta chip I think that's right now I should just be able to wire this up to this and we should be good to go and no we are not
Alright, now you should be able to release it. Yeah. Uh, should. Damn it. See, it's not supposed to do that. Anyway, yeah. It floats. Now I can move on to my next part of my tutorial, which will probably be putting this expression gate, and I'll figure out how, why it's jacking up so bad as well.